<laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome to the English 9 video. Um, we have the four teachers that are going to be working here at Milwaukee High School for us. Miss Moody, Mr. Knight, Mr. Peterson, and Miss Burton. Um, you can see our wonderful little bitmojis there. Uh, you can see the real faces of us off to the right. Um, the focus uh, and themes for this year are going to be on identity exploration, coming of age, navigating teen years uh, with the ninth graders coming in in this crazy time. Um, they are going to be a member of a team as well, uh, but the freshmen teachers will also be working together to, to kind of stay focused on this thing throughout the year. Um, although each student will be in a different class and things will be slightly different class to class, um, my colleagues are going to go over a few of the possibilities that your students uh, will be engaging in this year with regard to reading. So the Sources of Strength unit is actually just a mini unit. It's a short one where we talk about uh, where we draw our support from in our lives and what areas we would like to work on adding to. Uh, we're going to do a lot of discussion, some brainstorming, and write a small piece on that. The Roots and Climbing Poetry unit is about uh, song lyrics and poetry and social justice. And the We Were Here unit is a book about the criminal justice system. And about uh, it's about several boys that go on kind of a road trip. I'm not going to tell you the secret of the book, but it's good. <laughs> uh, another unit you might be doing in your English class is one about representation in literature, in which you'll read personal essays um, by people who are reflecting on the importance of seeing someone like themselves in the books that they read and the media that they consume. Uh, you might read the novel Gabby, A Girl in Pieces, about a girl uh, in her senior year of high school who's navigating um, family issues, deciding what to do after high school, and discovering the ways in which poetry can be um, a source of strength in her life. And you might be doing a unit on Romeo and Juliet, the classic Shakespearean play um, about two star-crossed lovers. And um, you, you'd get to watch um, theater productions of that and um, have a, a grand old time. All right, so in addition to office hours with each of your teachers, we're gonna have what's called synchronous learning. So that's gonna be direct instruction on a video where you'll log on and you'll be with your teacher. Uh, there'll be group work, class discussions, and sharing work involved in that. The second type is asynchronous. That's not led by a teacher, but there'll be video tutorials, reading and reflecting, independent work and writing time, and possibly an exit ticket along with that. To prepare for us, uh, as we are learning as teachers, we've got to create our own learning space. So thinking about where you can be that's going to be quiet, that's going to be um, somewhere that you can focus, somewhere that you can write. It'd be great if you could change your Google email picture to be a picture of yourself or a Bitmoji so we can see you when your camera is off and check your technology. Does your microphone and your camera work? We're super excited about working with all of you this year and we look forward to the learning that we can do. Peace out.